Uh, that brings us to the uh, the Jonathan Kaminga story, and it's out there right now. Sources telling ESPN, uh, and this just came out this morning, that the Warriors are also exploring the option of acquiring a high draft pick in exchange for a young prospect such as I gotcha. Jonathan Kaminga. I want to make sure that that word is in there. Right. Um, not well, necessarily Kaminga, but such as okay. Jonathan Kaminga. So what other young prospect would be such as I don't know. Jonathan Kaminga. You could look at Moses Moody, but I don't think that Moses Moody has the same such as uh, potential Agreed. as Jonathan Kaminga. Moses Moody, we talked about this in terms of Brock Purdy and Trey Lance. I think Moses Moody is closer to his ceiling than Jonathan Kaminga is to his ceiling as a player in the association. I made that comparison between Brock Purdy and Trey Lance, and I think it also applies here. I think you have a pretty good idea of the player Moses Moody's going to be, and I like that player. Yep, me too. I think Moses can score more than 4.6 a game, which is his career average, but he'll be a sturdy, serviceable to good defender. He'll be a good to average three-point shooter. He's a guy who can play in a combination of roles and a combination of spots. He's probably not a starter on a championship team, but he's definitely in your rotation. Jonathan Kaminga could either be a superstar or a total, a flop. total flame he out. He could be a total flop. Yeah. He could be Darius Miles. He really could. So what other warrior would you say is well, I don't, a prospect I, I, of that same ilk? I, I don't think there is one. I, I don't know what the league thinks of PBJ after seeing a very, very little right. of him. Um, as uh, as a warrior draft pick, I think he I think he showed some some cool things, some interesting things, but it's so early with him. So yeah, it, it I don't think that that comment came from nowhere. I think Kaminga is is the one. I think that you're talking about two players that could potentially be moved this off season, and their names are Jonathan Kaminga and Jordan Poole. The Kaminga one though does hit different because. Um, Jordan has all the drama that we've all overly explored, quite frankly. Jonathan is is different. He's younger. He's uh, he's not as proven as far as what he can achieve in the NBA, but he also has a skill set that makes people's eyes fly out of their heads. And so that gets exciting. Um, I think I've said this a number of times on our show. I believe that we get overly excited about raw skills. When people are like, oh, he can do blank, and they're like, we got to develop him. Just because he can do blank doesn't mean he can be developed. Jonathan Kaminga can jump. He's incredibly athletic. Trey Lance is also very athletic. For his size, James Wiseman is very athletic. That's great, but I don't know if it means they can play. What I always look for with a young player, and this is simplistic and not fair, but when I see them play, I want to feel like, okay, that popped. that po It worked. It worked at a high level. When I watch Luis Mato swing the bat, I'm like, oh, that is very smooth. I know you're only 21, and I know you mostly did it at double and triple A, and so we'll see at the big league level, even though he got a hard knock in his very, very first at bat. That works. It feels like that'll flow. When Brock Purdy played, wasn't eye popping, but yeah, that worked. That led to wins. These other players, I understand the excitement, but nothing is decided. Nothing is proven. Just because you want Jonathan Kaminga to be good, if he's not, that's not necessarily the Warriors' fault. And nothing is given either, Mark. And this is something that we talk a lot about in terms of playing time. They need to play Jonathan Kaminga. More Well, Jonathan Kaminga plays more when he earns the minutes. Andrew Wiggins was out. Kaminga got a chance to play, and he played well. He earned those minutes. Wiggins comes back. Kaminga's minutes were reduced, and he didn't play as well. So there's no guarantee. There's no birthright on playing time in the association. The other part of the development conversation that always kind of rankles me a little bit is player development is a two-way street. The player himself has to want to get better exactly. in order to get better. Jordan Poole is a great example of player development. So you're telling me that the Warriors don't develop young players, yet they were able to develop Jordan Poole, mm. and they weren't able to develop Wiseman or Kaminga. Now, did Jordan Poole just have an insane work ethic, and he got better on his own, 
or did the team and Jordan work together for him to improve his game the same way Wiseman and Kaminga have that opportunity? So when we talk about player development, either the organization is blamed or the player is credited. We don't often see it as the two-way street that it really is. You know what would be fun to do right now? Like, we could put all these guys in a bucket, and uh, and you have to pick one. You have to pick a futures. You have to make a futures wager right now. Luis Matos, Casey Schmidt, Patrick Bailey, Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, Jonathan Kaminga. Where's your chip go? Man, uh, in terms of best career, yeah, who has the best career of all those guys? Well, the the safe bet would be Brock Purdy, because he's starting quarterback for a team that is poised to win, and he has a quarterback whisperer as a head coach. So if I took if I had the first pick hmm. in the futures draft, it's interesting. I would go Purdy one. I would go Matos two, because at twenty one, and you're right about the skills, the smooth swing. The toolsy, he looks, good. Uh, he looks very toolsy. He looks good, and he can play all three outfield spots. And he's only twenty one, and he's under team control. I would take him second, and then third. It would be interesting. Yeah, might be Bailey. Remember now, this is a really important position, and he's already got the defensive side of it yeah, locked down. Yeah, but catchers are switch hitting catcher. Catchers are it can be fickle. You you're oh, one sure. couple of foul tips away from oh, for sure. So I, that that well, scares me. I mean, yeah, Purdy plays football. So he's fine. I mean, come on. I mean, Kyle gets his QBs hurt yeah, all the time. I mean, so. I mean, his arm already There's flew that, off yeah. one time. So, uh, 